welcome to year 5 edition of Teach Time Maths. So today we're going to be looking at something called a rectilinear shape. Now rectilinear shapes, as it says up here, are shapes where all the vertices, so all the corners, are at 90 degrees, or a right angle. So you can see here I've drawn it in the corners, they've all got this little square. That means that they are all 90 degrees. I've also written some numbers around the outside. Some of you may have guessed why. But that's because we're going to be looking at the perimeter of the shape. So the perimeter is the total length of the outside of the shape. So it's all the way around. As if I had to walk down each line, I want to know how long it is. With a rectilinear shape, there are lots and lots of numbers involved because it's not just a normal shape. You've got to count each one. So I've written down all of the lengths of the outside. So my squares on this paper are one centimetre on each side so that's why I've been able to work out the numbers pretty quickly. But I'm just going to write down the quick calculation. So the way I like doing it is I like seeing how many of each number I've got. So I'm going to look at my ones first. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So I've got seven times one. Then I'm going to look at my twos next. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I've got four times two. And lastly, I've got one, three. So that's one times three. That's the way I like to work out the perimeter of a rectilinear shape. You might work it out differently. You might like to do one, add one, add one, add one, but that takes a long time to write it all down. You might like splitting the shape up so you turn it into lots of different shapes, but it's completely up to you. I like doing it this way, so I'll go through this one for you but I'm more than happy to explain anything in comment section on Facebook if you need it explained again. So, now I need to work out the perimeter. So seven times one is seven. Four times two is eight. And one times three is three. All I've got to do now is add these numbers together. So, eight add three is 11. 11 add seven is 18. So I know that the, area, the perimeter of this shape is 18 centimetres. Okay, let's have a go at this one together. So as I said, each of these squares is one centimetre in sides. I know it's not quite as clear for you to see as it is for me, so I'm going to go through this one with you. So this is one. I then need to remember to do this side bit as well, I can't forget it. So I'm going to put one there. I've then got the step. One. I need to remember the side. Bottom of the step. The side. Ooh. Bottom of the step. And the side again. Okay. So that's a lot of ones so far. Then I'm going to work out this side bit. So I've got one, two, three, four squares. And then I'm going to work out the bottom. One, two, three, four along the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do my timesing again. So I know that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times one. And I've got two times four. Okay, so eight times one is eight. Two times four is eight. And we should all know that eight at eight is 16. I need to remember our units as well, so it's 16 centimetres. Okay, this last one, I'll do, I'll do the writing down the lengths with you, but I want you to have a go at adding it together by yourself. So we've got one on each end here, and we've got a one on the bottom as well. Now along the top we've got one, two, three, four, five squares. Underneath we've got one, two, and it's the same for the other side, one, two. And then along this bit we've got one, two, three, four. And then the same on this side, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the shape written out for you. I'm going to get you to pause the video now. I want you to have a go at working out the total perimeter for this shape. Okay, 
So let's have a go through it together. So I've got one, two, three times one, two times two. I don't have any threes, but I've got two fours. So that's two times four. And I've got one times five. So three times one is three. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. And one times five is five. So now I just need to add them all together. So eight and three is 11. Four add five is nine. 11 add nine is 20. Okay, so the total perimeter for this shape is 20 centimeters. Remember my centimeters. Okay. So I have a challenge for you now. This is Rexy. He is a rectilinear dinosaur. Can you work out his perimeter? So I have made it a little bit clearer for his legs and his arms. So those are two squares there. And for his face, that is three squares, okay? What I'll do is I'll draw a little line where each square starts to make it easier. And all you've got to do is when I pause, well, when you pause the video, even you've got to work out the total perimeter for Rexy. Okay, right. Off you go. Okay, so let's have a go through this together. So. Let's first of all measure the sides. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters at the top. Down the side, I've then got one, two, three. Underneath, I've got one, two, three, four. I need to remember the one for this part of his neck, the one for the top of his arms here. Then I've got one, two for his hands one at the bottom remember then I've got one two here one two at the bottom for his legs and then we've just got to work out his back so one two three four five six seven eight okay so let's do the timesing so I've got one two three times one I've then got one two three times two. I've got one number three, so that's one times three. I've got one number four, so that's one times four. I've got one six, and then I've got one eight. So three times one is three. Three times two is six. One times three is three. And then all of these, it's just one times. So we've just got to do the number again. Okay. So this is where you need to, again, I do like to simplify it even more. So I know that I've got a six and a four here, so that makes 10. I've got two threes here, that makes six. And then I've got a six and an eight here, and that makes 14. So now I've just got three numbers to add together. So 6 add 14 is 20, 20 add 10 is 30. So that's 30 centimetres for Rexy, the rectilinear dinosaur. So it's over to you now. You have to have a go at drawing your own rectilinear dinosaur. And then if you finish that, put a picture up on Facebook and then I'm going to have a year five rectilinear shape worksheet for you to have a go also up there. I'd say spend about 15-20 minutes on this one. This one can be a bit trickier than some of the other maths lessons. So have a go at it and if you get stuck leave it and come back to it later. You don't have to do it all at once. Have fun everyone.